Hello people, how are you? Uh, I'm hope the, that uh, you are doing well. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this is um, a very uh, nice tutorial where I will gonna explain to you how you can create a cool uh, smoke effect on Blender 2.8. Um, I have already Blender open, as you can see. Uh, with the default scene uh, if you don't you can download it from www.blender.org um, so let's uh, start uh, this uh, tutorial um, as I told you before I have already the default scene uh, let me just uh, enable the, the screencast keys uh, if you look at the bottom left of the screen you will see which keys am I typing. I think that uh, will help you uh, during this tutorial. Um, for creating uh, the smoke effect, you will need to have uh, an object uh, where you are going to, to assign uh, the, the smoke. Uh, in this case, we are going to use the cube that is already on our scene. Uh, but you can use uh, any object, a uh, circle, uh, uh, anything that you think it is uh, better uh, for you. Um, now that we have the cube selected, uh, the first step is to go here to the object menu, select quick effects and then quick smoke. As you probably notice, it have created uh, a box uh, on uh, on around uh, the the main object uh, this box is called uh, a domain and basically is uh, where the effect will gonna be uh, present uh, the smoke will appear inside of of this box so um, i think that uh, we need to to scale it uh, a little bit okay so press S to do that I would prefer to use the shortcuts but as you probably already know you can use uh, this menu over here where it says scale so let's press S to scale it okay let's scale it again but on the Z axis and then let's press G to move it up a little bit and Z to lock it on the Z axis. I think that is good. Uh, we can now go to, to the next step. Um, make sure that you have our domain box selected and then click here on the physics tab. There are um, a few options that you can change here to, to create uh, all your smoke and the first one that uh, I want uh, you to pay attention is this one uh, where it says resolution divisions uh, by default uh, this parameter is set to 32 in this tutorial we are going to use 80 I think that is good you can use more if you want more quality on your smoke but uh, you need to pay attention because that uh, will affect your uh, your render time and uh, the speed of, of uh, the capacity, the processing capacity of your computer. So uh, make sure that uh, you you don't increase it too much. Uh, the smoke will gonna be uh, looking good or looking better, but uh, it will slow down your things. So you need to find the, the correct ratio between quality and speed uh, according to, to your needs. For this tutorial, I will not gonna use too much quality. Uh, that uh, is up to you uh, to decide uh, what uh, you, are, you are going to use. So, 80, I think that is good. Um, another thing that is very important is make sure that you have adaptive domain selected. This will allow the domain box to adapt uh, to the smoke in this case. Um, and the last thing that um, I want you to, to look at is the 
high resolution uh, parameter okay we are going to use high resolution but for this tutorial I will only use uh, one division you can use two or three or four I think that four is too much but as I told you before uh, that uh, is up to you um, after doing those those things um, if you go here to to the timeline uh, and select uh, one of the last frames and press play we have already some smoke created as you can see it, it is not uh, how I want uh, I think that uh, if we change some things uh, here it will become better um, for this tutorial I have forgot to told you on the beginning but we are going to use the EV render engine so um, to increase the quality of the render let's change some parameters on the on the render tab okay so let's click here on the second tab and make sure that you have EV selected okay now let's increase the samples to increase the quality we are going to use 128 but again that's up to you uh, how much you want to increase it um, and then the next thing that is important too is make sure that you go here to the volumetrics tab um, and activate the volumetric shadows okay you will not see any difference here because we are not in uh, rendering mode so let's click here on rendering mode and if we activate the volumetric shadows as you can see the smoke have become a little bit uh, better you can increase the tile size too it is set by default to 8 but you can use 16 if you want um, more quality but again for this tutorial let's keep it on 8 uh, if you click on play as you can see now we have some smoke it is a little bit slower because we are go running it in preview mode but after you render your scene it will become much much better um, the next thing that I want to show you is um, how you can uh, change the world settings so that the smoke will become better um, one thing that I forgot to tell you on the on the beginning of this tutorial is that um, you need to have in order to the smoke works you need to have some material assigned to the object um, we have used the default cube and as you know the default cube already came with a material assigned to it so we will not change it uh, let's change the world okay i will use the black color for this case i think that it is the, a good color because it have contrast with the smoke um, and the next thing that I want to, to show you is uh, how you can uh, configure the light so that uh, uh, it will look better make sure that you have the light selected press G to move it up let's try to center it to the smoke okay now let's go here to light parameters and let's use a sun light um, the default intensity is too big we, we are not going to use 1000 we are going to use uh, maybe 10 okay let's just rotate it a little bit and move it here okay um, if you want to, to change the color of the, um, the smoke you just need to change the color of the light we are going to use some reds for this case orange reds okay very good um, now that we have 
our scene and uh, the lamp uh, configured when you think that uh, is good for you um, you need to do um, another step as i told you before if you click here on play we can see our animation but that's too small um, make sure that you have uh, the first frame selected save your work okay let's save it on the desktop that's no problem um, and then with the box selected click here on the physics tab again select cache option and click on bake uh, this will will take uh, a little bit uh, because um, depending on of the speed of your computer but that will generate uh, the final uh, effect for for your smoke so i will accelerate the video a little bit okay that is done uh, if you click play as you can see now we have some cool nice uh, smoke and um, if you want to to render it uh, let's set up the camera and the final parameters for rendering uh, i will gonna show you so select uh, an angle that that you like and then press ctrl alt zero to lock the camera to what you are seeing okay and then click on n to open the options and select lock camera to view now you can increase or decrease the the view so that you can place the smoke wherever you want on the camera let's place it here i think that is good um, you can select the cube where you have applied the effect and reduce it a little bit because if you don't do that uh, it will appear on the on the renderings and we don't want it so scale it i think that is good now let's change some parameters here um, we are going to render a video so make sure that you have here on file format the avgpeg selected um, here you can select where you want to render the video let's click on desktop okay and let's increase the the quality i think that looks good you just need to go here to render tab and select if you want to render the image or uh, the entire animation i will just render an image for this tutorial but you can render uh, the animation let's click and wait a few seconds and voila we have our smoke over here uh, it have appeared the the box but you can in your case you can reduce it or you can move it to to another side so that it will not appear on the scene and press render again And now, as you can see, the cube has left the scene. Um, I hope that you have liked it. Uh, please render the video. And uh, I hope that you have some nice results uh, with that. Uh, I hope to see you soon. And if you, if you don't have already subscribed my channel, uh, please, uh, you can do it. Uh, you're welcome.